know the last time you and I spoke, it was actually online, so I'm so yep. glad that now we get to have this like intimate one to one, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm so happy for you because you know, you're back, you know, you're in WWE, you're out there, you're doing it. And the last time that you and I spoke, I don't know if you remember, but uh, we spoke about your uh, previous time in WWE, and you really opened up to me about how you know you kind of felt like you didn't, um, you know, you just didn't feel like your very best self the first time around and you felt like you were, I remember you saying, you, you said, quote, you felt like a joke. Yeah. And so with that being said, I wanted to ask you, you know, how you use that time in Impact Wrestling and now to the point where you are, <laughs> to the point where you are at now, you know, back in WWE. It's a support system, man. Like, it's crazy thinking about that interview to now and how much has changed, whereas from the support of Gail and Scott and like even Keith and with the changes that is in WWE now, it's like, oh my gosh, it blows my mind with how much just even going up to Gail like, hey, I think I'm gonna go back to WWE because of X, Y, and Z. And she's like, I completely support that. Like, I wish you would stay, but as your friend, I, can, I support it. And that meant so much to me. And even explaining to her like just how much impact and Gail and Scott was able to really help me redeem myself mentally because I was not it, the reason why I took a short-term deal was because I wasn't sure if I could I could commit to something long because I wasn't sure if this was something that I wanted to continue doing so it's just the support system really changes everything from night to day and it's um it's crazy to think about and that's important. I'm so glad that you touched on that when you touched on your mental well-being and where you were at because if it wasn't for that brief run and impact, who knows where you would have been at mentally because I remember you saying that you weren't entirely sure if you wanted to come back into the ring and I feel like, you know, you got to get your you know, your sea legs back. I think that's the saying, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it's one of those things too where like even after impact, being brought back into WWE and like I trust Triple H and like I really do believe everything that he says. Like I knew that I would be in good hands, but coming back, it was like still very nerve wracking, but being told that I was gonna be with the boys and having experience with them back in the day, it's like they've helped me too from day one, just making me feel like a part of the family and like, hey, like, dude, you've been doing this for years, like you're good. And it, it really, they really helped me like remind me of who I am. And you mentioned that you told Gail, you know, you're going back to WWE because of X, Y, and Z. What were your reasonings uh, for returning to the company? Uh, well, there are plenty, but like the top two was definitely to just kind of redeem myself and make myself a uh, notable like name in WWE. But then also like my mother, she lives by herself in Virginia. And when I started wrestling, I set a goal of being able to take care of her through wrestling and with WWE, like, I'm able to buy her a home and bring her down to Texas and be close to us and things like that. And it was explaining to Gail, like, listen, I just, being the oldest one in the family, and we, like, they don't have any sons, so I always consider myself, like, the the big brother, the, the, the man when my mom, like, if it's just me and my mom, like, I have to take care of her. Um, and it could just be an Asian thing, I don't know. But being able to afford to buy her the home that she wants and things like that, it's like, Explaining that to Gail, she's she completely understood. And that's incredible, and it's a, it's like a thing where it's like, yeah, I totally get your reasonings for it. It's like you want to redeem yourself, and then on top of that, you know, you're able to do something nice for somebody that you love, your mother above all. Who you know, we all want to give our moms yeah. the entire world, right? Because we know they deserve yeah. it and all of that. So you know, that is cool. So let's go back to what you mentioned. You know, getting to be with you know uh, with uh, you know AJ and everybody like at Gallows and Anderson. Like for you, what was it? Um, what did that you know for for you? What has that experience been like? Getting able to kind of mix it up with them especially given that they really just got you know aside from from AJ but they just came back to WWE yeah. too so we actually so me Carl and Luke did a meet and greet at impact like a month maybe a month and a half before all of us came back so it was like we got back it's like damn this is it's different yeah. <laughs> but it's really cool because like it, we've all kind of went out and did our own thing but ultimately ended up back together where we first started so like I told everyone else like I've always known the boys and we've worked together but we've never actually worked together and if you saw me and like AJ on like one side of the room and then like Carl and Luke on the other side you would never imagine me to be a part of them but when we are together like it feels like 
we've been cool for years. So we'll just, after a show, we'll go have dinner and just like kick back and just like, just talk about life and things. And it's really, it's really, really cool with them. Like they, they make everything super comfortable. It's always nice to have like guys best friends because they you know can give you like support and all of that. It's a really fun you know uh, friendship to have. AJ like when we're on the road, <laughs> if we have like a three hour drive, AJ is so worried that I'm driving by myself, and he's like, please let me know when you make it. Like I just want to make sure that you're okay. And it's like, oh, thanks. I think it's, like, it's the dad in him too, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> it's so sweet. I feel like someone cares about me. This is great, right? I love yeah. that. That's so awesome. Yeah, and it's like even when Keith is at home, like he's not traveling with me now. He kn he can trust AJ and the boys to make sure that like I'm good. So like that says a lot too. That's so awesome. And I do want to ask you also about the locker room backstage, especially amongst the women. Uh, what's the you know what's the vibe like? What are the oh, friendships man. like? Uh, you know, just kind of walk us through what it, what it, what it, what it would be like. Oh my gosh, it's a great locker room. Like the girls that I grew up with in NXT is now on the main roster, and like. The first day when I came back and I finally went to the locker room, it was just like hugs and videos and pictures. And it was just nice to just be around like Bianca, Rhea, uh, Dakota, and like Tamina, Nikki, like all of us is real cool together. And like, I love every single one of them. It's nice, it's nice being back. And last but not least, let's talk about the Rumble because that's the reason we're here. Uh, how do you feel heading into this year's Rumble and what are you most looking forward to? Um, I hope that I could be a part of it. We're going to find out. But if I am, I brought my sister and my mom this weekend. We were making like a family trip out of it. So it's, yeah, so it's like no matter what happens, the fact that I know that my family is out there and they're having the time of their lives, that says a lot to me. And that's all that I, I care about. Like I'm excited to be, a, if I am a part of the Rumble, I, I'm excited to be a part of it. And looking back like three years ago when I was a part of it the first time to now, it's like it feels like full circle to yeah. me. I love it because you get to experience this with the people that you love. My last question for you is, now that you're back in WWE, what are some of your short-term goals within the company and maybe even some long-term goals? Uh, short-term goals, I definitely want to continue roughing it up with the boys. You know, be stay. I want to actually, no, that's a long-term goal. Stay with the OC. They're my boys. Nothing's going to change about that. But I love being able to... Um, like short-term goals, I would love to have another feud with Bianca. I would love to get to maybe do something with Shayna again. Like the stuff that the feuds that I had at NXT bring it to the main roster. Um, but sticking with the OC and doing stuff with them whenever they need help, I'm always there. Um, and long-term, I just want to solidify my place in WWE. You know, redeem, redeem my name and have everyone know that I can still go. Oh, yes, you can, girl. I've seen your <laughs> stuff. Yes, you can. Well, Mia, thank you so much for chatting with me, and I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your Royal Rumble weekend. Awesome. Thank, awesome. You. thank you. so much.